What a glorious day just to sit down, have a cup of coffee, and watch an episode of Ore Monogatari. I tell you, I love this series so much. I'm so glad Studio Madhouse is making this 24 episodes, or 25 episodes, one or the other, because if it wasn't, we would have to say goodbye to this series, like, usually this week or next week, and I couldn't take that. I, I really couldn't take that if I had to already deal with this series going away, because it is so enjoyable. It is such an enjoyable series I love so much. And I think I can speak for a majority of us when it comes to this series that this is probably the best damn romance we have seen in months. In like half a year. Like, th this is so good. Oh, Hardy Rod is very good. I have that in a lot of respect. Like, I love that series. I love Kami-sama. But I can't deny the just the straight up quality to the series. This episode, it confirms a little bit of things I've been talking about. And I'm quite happy to see that. As I said, I think I mentioned it once through me reviewing this series. I wonder if Ore Monogatari is going to continue after high school. Because when it comes to shoujo or any type of romance series, anime or manga, usually the series ends after high school or in the middle of high school. That's usually where these series end and we don't get to see the afterward. For instance, what happens in college, what happens when the couple gets together, you know, so forth, so on. And... From the way this episode is structured, now, obviously, the mangaka wrote this, so I want to talk about the mangaka specifically. The way the mangaka wrote this little episode, or what this was in, I'm guessing, the manga, the chapter, it lets us assume that Gota and Yamato are going to go to college together, and Suna is also going to go to college with them. And if my hunch is correct, the way that was done, it makes us think that maybe this manga series, if it sells well, does well, if this anime boosts its popularity, which I know it has, because you have even Oda from One Piece drawing fan art on Twitter about this. And I mean, if that is going down, you know this series is getting popular. And so... If the mangaka, I'm guessing, has a really good popular series that continues to be popular, I think the mangaka might extend this series into college. And I'm looking forward to that, because you don't really see a lot of college manga or anime when it comes to romance. I mean, there is some out there, I know there is, but I'm talking about you don't really see a lot of that, or a very good one that just continues on and you really just want to see the couple get together in their home life as, you know, maybe Goda and Yamato, they become husband and wife, and then, you know, he has to work a job and, you know, they deal with difficulties of, you know, paying bills and stuff like that. That would be a very interesting way to look at this series, and I really hope the mangaka does take it in that direction, because there is some shining hope with this episode because it lets us know that the mangaka is prepping for college for these characters and so I do hope that we get more I, I really do I mean I know I'm looking way off in the future right now like I'm looking at stuff probably that's not even addressed in the manga but it, it's just something I really look forward to when I'm reading a manga series I look for the future of the manga where it's probably going to go and the direction it's going to take before it ends and I do hope that this series does get to that point where it does go to college maybe a part two that will focus in college maybe like my wife's love story my husband's couple love story whatever you know just change the name for a part two but i really hope it does because this episode sets up that now getting back on topic the main theme of this episode is just prepping up for college and getting to see go to study like this entire episode is seeing go to study with yamato and suna get to see everybody pitching in helping each other with some you know standard romance themes we have seen throughout the entire series with some great comedy with Goda's faces with his iconic word he says I love her so much like I love her I love Yamato we got to hear that once again in this episode and with that what this episode goes to show us is the connection and bonds between these friends I mean I think it's very obvious by now that Suna, Yamato, and Goda they love each other like they're, they're great friends they're very great friends you know our couple Yamato and Goda very good couple. That They're definitely going to be together for a very long time. Because from what we have seen, when it comes to drama, we haven't seen much drama. Which is unnerving, actually. It is very unnerving when it comes to this series. Because the lack of drama is scary. For many reasons. Because shoujo or shounen, whatever, type of romance series 
feed upon drama for certain arcs. It does. These type of series feed on the drama to progress certain arcs or character development, characterization, and stuff like that. And Ornamonogatari hasn't had that. It, it hasn't had an arc focused around drama. I mean, it has had drama come up, but not in a way that is the stuff that, you know, makes complications with the couple. For instance, you know, like Gota and Yamato. I am waiting for that moment until an arc like that appears. And I wonder how it is going to appear, because judging by how the mangaka has avoided going down the path of using standard cliche type things a lot, I know the mangaka has tried to avoid that the way it looks, when a drama arc finally appears, I'm kind of scared, because that drama arc most likely is going to be something very, very brutal to make it to where Gota and Yamato have some form of complications, because they're, they're, their entire well-being and relationship status is just like godlike right now it, it's fucking godlike the way they treat each other and to see that i'm wondering when that drama arc is probably going to come around i'm willing to bet we're probably going to see one before this anime is over I, I think we'll probably get to see one but i have no idea now overall though when it came to this episode i i felt like the episode was on point i mean per usual of order monogatari i mean we've come to know and love this series and it, i mean the episodes feel like it's four or five minutes which is scary but usually that's what happens when you watch a good series like especially from studio madhouse and they know how to make good damn quality especially when it comes to, you know good romance or any type of series man they've always done damn good i mean they have their hits and misses too i mean they've had their you know bad shows i know for a fact madhouse has but i mean usually they have some good stuff and they really haven't disappointed me in recent times which i'm happy to see so good job madhouse once again for another excellent episode this week production value was very good i mean there was some derps of course but there's always derps in any anime and that's about it and we come to enjoy Otamonogatari, and I think that's what we got with this week's episode. So I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.